Hello friends, welcome to your own channel, Eklavya Astrology. And today I am going to talk about the 8th from Mars. And the logic from 8th of the Mars is the 8th aspect of Mars. Secondly, Mars is a fiery planet, fiery planet. It is the lord of Aries sign, which is a fire sign and which is the beginning of the Kalpush Kundli, which is a Deha Karka, which is the, you show the beginning of the life. But you see that the Mars also rules the eighth from Aries, that is Scorpio, which is a water sign, which is a sign of death. So there is a, wherever your Mars is placed, there is a transformation. Even though fire and water are enemies, actually. So water ex extinguishes the fire. That's why it is the eighth from Mars where, where, where you are going to discharge maximum of your energy. You will once in a lifetime you will see a death-like situation in the eighth from the Mars. So definitely Mars is going to destroy the living signification from itself. And you know Mars is what Mars is uh, quickness where. Wherever your Mars is placed, you are quick in that area. And check the conjunction of the planet with Mars. You are also very, uh, you show hastiness, you show quickness in that area as well. You are very excited in that area. For example, Mars with Mercury. It shows quickness of the hand or quickness in the communication, bluntness, aggressiveness. So Mars is what cut quickness, hastiness, and uh, transformation. Wherever your Mars is placed, uh, you will see a lot of transformation. But 8th from Mars shows that that area will uh, drain maximum of your energy. For example, if you have Mars in the Lagna, 8th so from itself is the 8th house. So Mars in Lagna, these natives suddenly transform their career. Or they... Uh, change their career suddenly because now they are they are not interested in something uh, working under somebody so now they will shift suddenly there will be uh, uh, you know uh, it can give you the careless attitude like you achieve something you achieved a status but suddenly you left it suddenly you uh, sh uh, come to the downfall because eighth house is a house of downfall as well but 8th house, 8th house is a house of uh, in-laws, is a house of uh, occult, is a house of research, is a house of inheritance. So Mars, you will drain the Martian energy in the 8th house, in these areas. That's why the Mars in Lagna people are very good researchers, very good astrologers, very good uh, occultists, because Mars is in the Lagna. And they become over-adventurous sometimes. That is the Mars in the first house. Check the sign. It's from the uh, Mars actually. For example, yeah, if you have Mars in the uh, uh, Pisces, in the Lagna, so eighth house will be Libra sign. So Libra is a sign of relationship. Opposite sex, uh, courtroom. So you will drain maximum of energy in the Libra related significations. That person... Because you have to pay a lot of, uh, you know, uh, karma in that house or sign. Or you can add the planet. For example, you have moon 8th from Mars. So the you have to drain your energies. You have to give your blood actually. And I, that is a, uh, it's like key. you have to give your blood. You have to uh, die once. In the 8th house or 8th sign or planet 8th from Mars. So if you have moon 8th from Mars, it means you have to die for mother, masses. Okay. You have to sacrifice a lot of things. You will drain your maximum energy in moon related activities like meditation, like traveling, food, craving for food, craving for mother or you have to uh, drain your energy in moon related signification okay it will definitely give you uh, some problem in relationship with the mother 
check the house lordship. If moon is the seventh lord, then it will give you problem uh, in the relationship, uh, in the marriage, because it is the seventh lord. So you, this is how you can add Mars in the second house. You have to. It's it creates challenges. It is not good for father. It gives injuries, physical injuries. It gives struggle, or it gives a lot of uh, you know. Uh, struggle or you can say that your father has to do a lot of physical work because mars is in the second house and mars is from the second house you are draining your mars energy you are giving your blood to the ninth house that is a religion that is your father that is your guru that is your higher education so the eighth ninth house will drain your energy a lot of energy even though it is problematic for father as well in our relationship with the father Now, my father will have a competitive nature. Secondly, Mars is in the third house. So it will drain maximum of energy in the 10th house. 10th house is a house of recognition, status and work. So Mars in the third house, these people are very active in, in the workplace because they are draining maximum of their energy in the 10th house. So that's why Mars in the 8th house, although it is problematic for your younger sibling, it will, you know, um, give problems in your relationship with the, uh, your brother, especially. It is not a good placement for your brother. Mars in the 4th house is problematic for your mother. It give injuries, it it will, you know, you will move away from your homeland. And although it is a good placement to earn money from wealth, property and other things, but definitely you are going to drain your energy in the 11th house. Although you, it's very much, you know, uh, confirmed that you will not have a elder brother. You will not have a support system. So you will rise in life by your own self mars in the fourth house and in the 11th house the source uh, income and desires will drain a lot of your, uh, your energies although it can increase the shudderipu lobe you know uh, desires uh, lust anger aggressions so this mars in fourth house is not good for your mother secondly if you have for example Virgo sign from the Mars, you know, uh, eighth from Mars. So the enemies, the debt, the maternal uncle, and uh, Virgo related signification, the fights and the, uh, you know, uh, Virgo is auditing, that will drain maximum of your energy. So you can check the sign as well. You have to die once in the eighth from Mars. Okay, so Mars in the 5th house, year, uh, 12th house, like your meditation, 12th house is the foreign land, 12th house is the expenditure. Okay, so this will, house will drain maximum of your energy, Martian energy. So it is a good combination for foreign, but problematic for childbirth, problem for, for problematic for children. So, but however, it can give you, uh, give injuries and surgery to either uh, to your children or it is bad for your stomach because fifth house is related to your stomach. But these natives are good at writing or communication uh, because 12th house is a house of imagination. Mars in the sixth house. Sixth house matters will trouble you a lot. Why Mars in sixth house? Uh, is considered good uh, because it gives victory over enemies. But at the same time, Mars is respecting your Lagna. So definitely you have to compete. Uh, like, you know, you will get a lot of struggle and challenges in your life. And you have to be competitive in nature. Sixth house activity will be connected with you. And you will see a lot of transformation just because of uh, sixth house matters. Like uh, legal conflicts, loans, 
or disease so mars in the sixth house uh, is like uh, it's good actually because you will uh, ultimately you will win over your enemies so mars in the sixth house your lagna your health and uh, your uh, your status your recognition uh, uh, curiosity for fame or you can say the desire for the fame will drain uh, your lot of energy mars in the 6th house mars in the 7th house the second house will drain your lot of your energy second house is a house of food family money so definitely second house will drain maximum of your martian physically as well as uh, mentally and this mars in the seventh house is that's why problematic for your relationship however you will enjoy the inheritance or wealth from your wife okay mars in the eighth house it's problematic for the uh, younger sibling but the third house related activity that communication speech will drain maximum of your energies or you will do a lot of sacrifices for your, your younger siblings but you are uh, it's not good that you'll ex uh, expect lot from them because mars in the 8th house it makes you good researcher occultist and third house is a house of curiosity reading communication speech that's why the third house related matters the short travels will drain a lot of your lot of your energies also it can create problem in your shoulders and hands as well uh mars in the ninth house is problematic for father the fourth house related to that home environment the vehicles or the property or the construction or the house especially the peace or comfort will drain maximum of your energy fourth house is a house of mother so definitely the relationship with the father due to uh, some uh, reason you may not may not have good relation or you may not get good uh, care or love or affection from your father or you may get separated from him so mars in the ninth house will drain maximum of your energy in the fourth house like doing something for mother and serving for mother uh, and doing for motherland uh, the home environment and the peace mars in the 10th house and the 5th house is a house of creation children education will drain maximum of your energy because mars a 5th house is a house of government as well however it can give you government job but still the 5th house related problems will drain your maximum energies mars in the 11th house the 6th house the loan disease debt will drain max drain maximum your energy so that's why mars in the 11th house can give you a big loan as well mars you have to die you know you have to give your blood in the 6th house right mars in the 12th house you have to drain maximum of your energy in the 7th house that is the house of business partnership and relationship you have to serve your wife or that relationship will drain maximum of your energy because you have to give your blood to that relative at that house that is the technique the eighth from mars i hope you will enjoy this video it's a technique from kalpursh kundli i hope you will enjoy it secondly eighth from mars is like mars will connect two houses for example why mars in sixth house people are lawyers competitors auditors or doctors because sixth house get connected with the lagna this is how we can decode the eighth aspect of mars the technique comes from the kalpursh kundli because mars is the lord of first house that is aries that's a fire sign and the fire get extinguished in the eighth from itself that is a water sign that is a scorpio so mars is a planet which which brings transformation in your life wherever it sits mars brings cut surgery separation conflict and aggression hastiness and quickness 
with other planets or in a house or in a uh, rashi mars in the sign of gemini it will give quickness in your hand and aggression in your speech sometimes bluntness in your speech as well so that's how we can decode the mars the karma of mars i hope you like this video thanks for watching